In the jungle, while Darno and Uka rest beside a water hole, the elephant upon which they made their escape from the Taurians stampedes, leaving them still far from the city of Rator, their destination. At the approach of a large mounted troop, they take to the trees. Later, they discover the troop to be a Ratorian patrol in command of Ukar's father, the Shan of Rator. Back in the city of Tor, Rutang and his son, Vando, both wearing the golden collar of the lion slave, are brought to the jewel pits and chained together in the slave group with Tarzan and O'Rourke. When the Irishman attempts to question him, the erstwhile chief of elephant men leaps upon him. In the palace, Atea, white queen of Tor, unexpectedly decides upon an immediate visit to her treasure vault. The key cannot be found in its accustomed place. In a towering rage, the queen orders her women into her presence to be searched. Jeanette Burton to be the first to undergo the investigation. Never before has the key to my treasure vault been lost. Nor is it lost this time, Jeanette Burton. What? What do you mean? Not one of my women would dare touch that key. They know that to do so would mean death. Death in the fires of Thor. Good. Tanya and the women. Tanya, come forward with Janet Burton. You will search her garments thoroughly. At Atea's harsh command, the mute slave, Tanya, motions the frightened, cowering women aside. Grasping Jeanette by the arm, she thrusts her roughly forward toward the stone bench upon which the queen has thrown herself. Leaning slightly forward, Atea watches as Tanya's yellow hand moves toward the shoulder fastening of Jeanette's gown. Akar Pantu, who comes now? Wait, Tanya. See first who is at the door. Wang Tai, what brings you here this early in the day? This one comes, illustrious one, to confer with the presence on the game. I am in no mood for conferences. However, now that you are here, you will remain and assist me in my search. Your search, Majesty? May this one be permitted to inquire what it is the present seek? The key to my treasure vault. The key to... Ah, yes, the key to your majesty's treasure vault. It has unaccountably disappeared. It has been stolen. Tanya is about to search my women. When she finds it on the person of Jeanette Burton... Jeanette Burton? What object would Jeanette have She is in... the only one who would dare take the key. Of course, illustrious one. And it is well that she be searched among the rest. This one will retire until such time as the all-wise one has concluded this very fitting investigation. As Wong Tai speaks, he moves backward with mock servility to pause directly between Jeanette and Tanya. His speech concluded, the wily Chinese bows deeply, obsequiously to the savage white queen. In so doing, he brushes lightly against Jeanette, who, at the momentary contact, grasps one of his hands in both of hers. Oh, Dr. Wong... Can't you make this woman understand that I haven't got her key? Here, here, take it. Thank heaven you came. Not ineptly is it written, my child, that the innocent man has nothing to fear. If the object in question is not found in your possession, the justice of our unapproachable one will prevail over her present in this position. Cease your chatter, Wong Tai, and stand aside. That Tanya may go on with the search. I shall return when this business is concluded, heaven-born. No, remain. You can perhaps suggest a just punishment when the guilty one is found. Your words, daughter of Tor, are like a page written in vermilion ink. Yet it appears that in the past, this incompetent brain has been unable to cope with that of your honorable self in the selection of such interesting experiments. Go on, Tanya. Search the woman carefully. In the jewel pits, Rutang, chief of elephant men, and his son, Vando, commander of the Torian jungle patrol, both wearing the golden collar of the lion slave, have been chained in the same group with Tarzan and O'Rourke. As the guards turn away, O'Rourke calls to Rutang. Without warning, the elephant man leaps upon the Irishman and bears him choking to the ground. <laughs> Before the guards can move to separate the struggling men, the weird, challenging cry of the bull ape rings out as Tarzan, dragging Kailuk, the Ratorian, and several others with him, springs to the help of O'Rourke. Reaching quickly across the broad yellow back of the prone Rutang, the ape man clamps a bronzed, iron corded arm about the elephant man's throat above the golden collar. Eyes bulging from their sockets, gasping for breath, Rutang's head slowly comes back as the arm, like a steel trap, shuts off his wind. The great yellow hands encircling O'Rourke's neck relax, fall away. Tarzan drops the gasping yellow hulk to the ground. 
O'Rourke, dazed, breathless, climbs unsteadily to his feet as the guards, shouting gruff commands, kick and drag the half-conscious Rutang back to his place in the slave group. All right, O'Rourke. Oh, Faith, and I'm still alive. Oh, for a minute there, <laughs> I saw the arms of my venerable forefathers reaching out for me. Oh, thanks to you, my friend, Tarzan. Did he say anything when he had you down? Oh, devil a word. He took me completely by surprise. When he came in, I saw the other fellow jump on his. What happened? Nothing. Kailuk held him off until the guards took a hand. Tarzan. Yes, Kailuk? Keep out of Lutang's way, O'Rourke. If he comes at you again, use your pick. What is it, Kailuk? A warning, Tarzan of the apes. Not a word of our plans must reach Vando. Vando? Who's that? The son of Rutang. The man trained beside him. There was a time when Vando was favored by Atea. Mungo replaced him, and Vando was sent to the jungle as chief of the patrol. So, that's it. Vando in command of the jungle patrol. And Wong Kai told us. Listen, Kailuk. Would Atea condemn her chiefs to slavery if prisoners entrusted to them escaped? <laughs> she has condemned chiefs and nobles to the lion pits and to the fires of Tor for a lesser offense, Tarzan of the apes. Hmm. I'm beginning to understand. And Vando, if he heard of our plans, would betray us to Atea, if only to reestablish himself in her eyes. Then warn the others tonight to keep silent. Ah. Well, O'Rourke, we were right. What do you mean, we were right? About what? Rutang. He's here because of Darno's and Uka's escape from the elephant paddock. Oh, sure, and twas a good guess he made then. The man they brought in with him was chief of the jungle patrol from which Wong Tai told us Darno and Uka also escaped. He's Rutang's son. Holy St. Patrick. It is no wonder the yellow scut tried to murder me. He blames us for their bad luck. Very likely. Don't turn your back to him. He may try again. Uh, if he does, Bigari, I'll be ready for him. I'll slap him betwixt the eyes with the business end of me pick. He'll not catch Patrick O'Rourke's boy Terrier Schlepp again. Meanwhile, in Atea's chamber, the quest for the missing key to the treasure vault progresses. Jeanette has been searched by Tanya and thrust aside, her place to be taken by one of the other women. Jeanette finds herself close to the bland Wong Tai. Engrossed in watching Tanya, Atea pays no attention to the two as they converse together in low, guarded tones. If you hadn't arrived when you did, Dr. Wong, heaven knows how this would have turned out. <laughs> One does not need to turn to heaven to know that, my child. But I was under the impression you were to get the key during her rest hour. Oh, the opportunity came this morning. I took it. Everything would have been all right but for her sudden wish to visit the treasure vault before resting. May the all-seeing guide the woman's footsteps into a vat of boiling sulfur. Her unexpected comings and goings are less to be relied upon than those of a smoker of the seven pipes. Now that you have the key, I suppose you'll go to the vault. You know what it means if you're caught. To the intrepid... High places exist solely to be scaled. The seemingly impossible to be accomplished. When we have no further use for the key, you will replace it. Meantime, we shall look at this treasure vault. We, Dr. Wong? You and I, my dear. But I can't go. If I were to leave these rooms, well, my absence would be reported to her within five minutes. An opportunity will present itself, perhaps tomorrow, uh, during her rest hour. But... We don't know where the cave is. I know the way, every step. Tarzan and I were taken there by Mungo. Well, I'm not going. I've done my share of the bargain in getting the key for you. Not quite, my dear. You will go with me. Or Atea might learn before I leave this room how the key vanished so strangely. And I should tell her where the key is at this moment. Which would avail you nothing, my dear, as our death would immediately follow your disclosure. Now, move away, slowly. Tanya has concluded this search. So, the key cannot be found. It must be here. It could not vanish by itself. 
Tanya, go with Janet Burton and search the women's quarters. Examine carefully every one of my chambers. Take these others with you. Wong Tai, what think you of this? May this person inquire who has access to the chambers of the presence, aside from the women and my so worthless self? Mungo and Raluk, father of the priests of Pantu, and several others, but none would dare touch the key of my treasure vault without my permission. Yet, if this one does not err, when Tarzan and I were taken there by Mungo, he opened the door with a key. Which he received from my own hands, and I was in the vault awaiting you. No. There is none who would have taken it other than Jeannette Burton. Yet it was not found on her person. That means nothing. She could have hidden it. Her fingers shall be cut from her hands one by one until she speaks. Consider, heaven-born, since my most opportune arrival today, I have pressingly laid the fact of this strangely missing object before the spirits of my distinguished ancestors with a request for their advice in the matter. And what do those distinguished ones advise? That the presence leave the matter in the hands of this ill-considered person for the time. It is possible that with special authority from the all-wise to move about in the palace and lower passages unhildered, this one may, through diligent search and adroit questioning, run the object to earth. And bring the thief to me? That is also possible, Majesty. Nay, it is even very probable. You have two days in which to make your investigations. You are also at liberty to go where you will in the palace and lower passages. If you are questioned by guards, show them this ring. It is your authority to act for me. Someone demands entrance. Go, Wang Tai. See who comes. Hello, Katia. Come in, Mongo. Come in. What is it? A slave bring word of plan for prison.